Howdy folks. So today I thought I would uh, dispose of uh, probably about 30 something capacitors that I happen to have. So uh, well, it's signed and uh, I think we're just gonna rapid fire uh, pop them all. So I've just got uh, 30 volts at 10 amps, DC uh, reverse polarity across these caps. They're only rated for 16 volts, so uh, I don't expect they'll uh, last terribly long, except uh, for maybe a few that are totally open circuit. But anyway, uh, enough talking. Let's start uh, popping these things. So I'm just gonna connect them uh, directly across the, uh, the DC. We're drawing 10 amps. Whew. That was fun. Next. This one just uh, seems to vent. Yeah, it's not drawing any more current. Next. Nope, drawing zero current. That one must have been pretty much open. Next. Excellent. Still drawing about an amp as it continues to vent. Half an amp. Yeah, it's almost all boiled out by now. Next, power on, drawing 10 amps, excellent, still drawing one and a half amps and slowly dropping, and we're done. Let's see if I can start angling them towards the camera, power on. Up, oh, slowly increasing. Ooh, that one was fun. It slowly started. It started at zero, and it's very, very rapidly climbed. So it didn't start at uh, 10 amps like most of them. Power on. This one's 10 amps from the beginning. That was a loud pop. Excellent. That one was uh, quite beautiful, in fact. You can actually see, or maybe not, the paper spewing out of the vent hole. Let's try another one of those red ones, or brown ones, or whatever color you want to call this. Power on, 10 amps. Excellent. You can see the, uh, at least I can see the juice, the uh, cap uh, electrolyte running down the side of the uh, blast shield. I'm gonna have to clean that off soon. Power on, 10 amps. Power on, 10 amps. So I just realized that my power supply actually goes up to 12 amps. Even though it's only rated for 10 amps, it, uh, it actually allows you to go a little higher. So uh, I've set it higher. Power on, it's ramping, 12 amps, and it's open again. That one's just a venter. Sometimes the vents work a little too well. 
I mean, I guess it's good, but, uh, yeah, not much out of that one. Power on, 12 amps. Ooh, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of smoke from this one. I love how I can, I can kind of pulse the, uh, the power on and off and I can cause it to jet very predictably. So this one is a uh, another 25 volt. I'm gonna wait until I can get another 16 volt, and then I'll just plug it in. Actually, correct polarity and see what uh, see what happens. But these are all 25 volts, and I don't think 30 volts is gonna do much. 12 amps. Excellent. Let me uh, attempt to clean the uh, the front of this so that you can see a bit better. So get all the spooge the splooge off of it. So this one is 16 volts, but I'm going to hook it up the correct polarity to 30 volts and see how long it lasts. Power on. It's currently drawing no current. It's bringing up to 36 volts. Oh, the current's... Oh, there we go. It actually lasted a pretty long time. But, uh, yeah, as soon as... I guess as soon as it heats up to a certain temperature, it goes into uh, runaway. And that's it. Power on. 12 amps. Ah, oh. got goo all over the uh, side again. I just cleaned that. Ah, well. Ah, this is another 16. Let's do this one proper polarity again. See what happens. Power on. We're drawing uh, no current. Still nothing. I mean, nothing that I can measure. I can only measure in increments of 100 milliamps. Hmm. Still nothing. Maybe this one's open. Well, let's reverse this. won't blow up one way, it'll blow up the other way. It's still charged a little bit there. <laughs> Reversed. 12 amps. There we go. So that one was actually uh, holding pretty strong. That was actually probably not a bad cap, actually. In case you're wondering, all these caps came out of uh, Lucky Gold Star uh, Flatron uh, computer monitors, they all they all failed in the exact same way. So I recapped all of the uh, all the monitors in bulk. I saved about twelve of them from the landfill, and uh, I sold a bunch, and then I uh, kept the rest. But uh, yeah, it's it's partially design flaw. It's partially design flaw, but uh, it's sort of planned obsolescence. They uh, sort of designed a weak point into the uh, power supply such that uh, these caps would fail. Uh, they don't have a high enough ripple current and uh, yeah, they, they all failed. So They also picked Suscon brand, which is like the absolute shittiest cap brand that I can think of that's still like a name brand. So, I mean, it doesn't, doesn't help there. Let's clean this off again. Power on. That was a nice thud. I know the uh, the mic's gonna clip on some of these, but uh, that's just the way I've set it up. That one uh, made a really nice pattern on the uh, the glass.
I don't think you'll be able to see that though. But yeah, that one came out the end quite forcibly. Let's change things up a little bit. Let's use one of those shitty caps from that amp that I uh, I uh, fixed. So this is a 2.2 microfarad by TFY. It's still got the, the red paint on the top. Let's see, power on. Ah, reverse biased, it's totally open circuit. Oh, nope, nope, nope. It's uh, drawing 300 milliamps now. It, it rose very quickly and then stopped. Oh, there we go. It did, it did go. It was looking like that thing was open for a bit. That was kind of boring. Although it is a tiny cap, so I, I, mean, I can't really blame it. Oh, did it fail out the side or something? Wait, what happened with this? Yeah, it failed out. This it failed out the side. That's that's very odd. Yeah, it failed out the side, not the top or the bottom. That's I don't think I've ever seen a cap fail like that before. That's odd. So here we've got another TFY. This is a uh, 25 volt, 100 microfarad, and uh, power on. 12 amps. It's holding strong at 12 amps. Holy hell. This wiring isn't even rated for 12 amps. Wow. Yeah, the, the wiring that I've used isn't rated for 12 amps for this long. Let's move back to the uh, the sat the sand what is this? Samson? Yeah, this one's already bulging. These ones we should have no problem blowing these up. He says as it draws zero zero amps at 36 volts reverse bias. 100 milliamps. 200 milliamps. 300, 400, 500, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1 amp. And that's about all we're gonna get out of it. Just a little bit of a uh, little bit of smoke. No catastrophic simultaneous failure. That's disappointing. Next. 12 amps. There we go. Amps. Power on. Excellent. Power on. That was disappointing. That's all we're gonna get out of that one. There's no current left. I'm not pulling any more current, should I say? Another one. Power on. Lovely. Next. Power on. Simply vented. Nothing interesting. pop just a, a couple more 
I have so many of these caps. I may uh, find a better setup and finish the rest of them off at a different date in another video. Power on. I think this one will be the last one for today. I'll try and repop the other two that failed to pop. Power on. Excellent. So we'll try and repop those two that failed to pop. So let's start with the 470. There we go. That was loud. That was very loud. So yeah, I believe the leads probably shorted in those two scenarios. Because there's no way I can see a cap taking 12 amps for that long and still surviving. So this is the other, this is the 100 microfarad um, TFY cap from that other amp. Let's see, uh, see what this one does now that it's definitely not shorted. Wow. Holy hell. Woohoo! That was good. That was a catastrophic cap failure. That was not vented at all. That that is beautiful. So you can actually see this is a, a really great uh, a great thing to happen. I mean if uh, you don't know how caps are built this this pretty much shows it um, they're basically just paper and uh, aluminium foil effectively um, wrapped around uh, in a spiral and then they're sealed and filled with an electrolyte to increase their capacitance and uh, it's in a metal can and you can see the metal can has failed at the bottom and um, there doesn't appear to be a vent on the, in these is there yeah no there's no vent on these caps so they have to vent out the bottom if the pressure builds too high around that crimp and it's actually caused the can to jettison completely off and uh, it, it's just basically a plastic plug and uh, yeah excellent so you know what I've uh, I'm gonna save all the rest of the TFY caps for uh, the next video because uh, if they're not vented like this then uh, they'll definitely be much better much better than the uh, the Suscon or uh, Samson or whatever ones that are vented. I mean, the vented caps are still fun, but uh, yeah, this is way better. So uh, hopefully that was uh, that was enjoyable. Uh, look forward to uh, more cap popping. Thanks for watching.